Good morning. It's Sunday morning and I'm on my couch. So I just woke up and I thought I'd do a quick little hey heads up this product's pretty cool video. Um, just because I've this is my second tube. Uh, the first one I got was 20? 15 mil? 15 mil. <laughs> and I went through it pretty fast and pretty hard. I was soaking my face in it. Um, this is probably three months ago and I've got a second tube now um, just because I kept forgetting to get more. Um, so the reason I bought this product was because I was noticing a lot of dryness around my eyes and I was at that stage considering lasering off my birthmark, my beautiful birthmark, and this here, which is hyperpigmentation, um, which resulted from scarring and sort of like a skin trauma. So when I woke up this morning, there was quite a bit of peeling going on on my nose after using this a couple of times. Well, I think it's three nights that I've used it in a row. So, um, I feel like it's triggered a bit of cell toner, turn, cell turnover, <laughs> what the hell, uh, cell turnover, which um, I thought was pretty interesting. Um, so I'm a bit curious as to whether any of you have actually tried using pure vitamin E oil um, and, you know, what, what kind of brands you're all using in your experience, especially if you're someone that has a lot of pigmentation through your skin, any scarring. Um, dryness um, and how it's helped you so please just leave me some comments um, and also if you've never tried it um, and you suffer or have any of these issues um, it might be something that helps you as well because I'm finding um, even when I've had like even just like spot scars uh, when I was using it and I used it probably for about a month straight when I had that 15 mil tube um, it really helped with like healing everything a lot quicker um, and I do feel like it helps to sort of tighten pores overnight um, but yeah I wasn't using it very consistently um, when I got this tube so I think I used it three nights in a row I got it maybe a couple of weeks ago and I used it on and off um, just because I've purchased um, like anti-aging moisturizers which I've never done before but I figured I'm 30 so I'm not necessarily um, some someone that should be on the same sort of skin regime I was before so um, I think it's maybe time I start getting into that but maybe I'll leave that to another video um, I just wanted to quickly make um, a little video um, to say that you know in terms of skincare um, I found using a pure oil um, to be something really rich and nourishing on my skin so um yeah just like with with everything that we do in our day like Monday to Friday or you know if you work shift work wearing makeup and all the different sort of like foods that aren't necessarily great for our, our bodies and our skin not drinking enough water um, I found this to actually be quite a rescue um, without me having to do too much more that's different. Um, I will also just say, um, I've already put some on my nose this morning because it was really dry and peeling. It is a very oily, I'm just gonna put it straight onto my nose so you can see how it comes out of the tube. It is very oily and thick. <laughs> Do you see that? Oh God. Um, it is really oily and thick and I was like really laying it on around my eyes, like into the little crease that's there. Um, because yeah, that was a crease that was really filling up with makeup when I was really tired um, or if I wasn't sleeping at night um, or I was dehydrated and the next morning I was like, I look, I've had a rough couple of nights, haven't really been sleeping, it's been really stormy here in Perth um, and <laughs> in the apartment that I'm in is like pretty old and ancient, the windows rattle a heck of a lot so since the storm started here I haven't really slept um, very well at all so it's, it's kind of a great video because you guys can see what I look like at one of my worst days um, but I will, I, <laughs> I promise we'll do some videos where I look lighter and brighter and maybe put on some fun colors for you guys so please stay tuned um, but yeah, with the consistency of this oil, it is very thick, 
Um, and I'd just say there, there have been a couple of times where it's maybe slightly gone into my eye. It's never stung or hurt, but um, maybe my eyes aren't as sensitive as other people's might be. So yeah, just be careful when you're putting it on around your eyes. Um, but it, it has been really great as like an under eye sort of serum. So that's another use for it. But yeah, this um, is pretty bomb. I, I really, I really give this um, a 10 out of 10 <laughs> so far, but I will try to use it consistently and do maybe a three month update video, especially on my little, oh, it's still very oily, on this little scarf, um, just to let you guys know how it's going and maybe we can see if there's any changes, but I'll just try to get up close and I might do like some before and after screenshots. Um, but yeah, I'll try to remember that and put a little date in my calendar. Um, but yeah, my next videos, um, I would like to do a little bit on how I go about covering or more blending um, my makeup so it's quite even. Um, and just other items that I'm using more for skincare. Um, I want this channel to be more for people um, that are sort of bordering into their 30s and maybe 40s if it's applicable to you guys. Um, because a lot of the videos at the minute are more centered around beauty and makeup, which are really great for inspiration. Um, but I think I found, especially following some of the videos, if your skin is tired, um, if you're starting to show signs of aging, if there's scarring, pigmentation, there are a lot of challenges along the way. So I'd like to just share how I'm uh, sort of overcoming <laughs> a few of the challenges um, with my skin and hopefully it gives you guys some ideas and tips on to how on how to <laughs> on how to challenge your own um, yeah I hope this is helpful and I hope you guys um, try some vitamin E um, on your skin and it's also really great for any scarring like burns like I decided to roast my finger I don't know if you can see that um, on one of the hot irons in the oven. So that's, um, that was pretty bad and it's only really closed up after like five days. But the vitamin E's really helped it as well. So it's just something really healing um, and protective as well. So yeah, that's probably enough for me. <laughs> um, thanks for joining me on my couch and I will talk to you guys all soon. See ya.